Guilt and shame, overcoming the weight of trauma. The burden of guilt and shame. Guilt and shame are common emotions experienced by individuals who have gone through trauma. These feelings can be overwhelming, often leading to a cycle of self-blame, isolation, and low self-worth. Guilt is typically related to actions or inactions during the traumatic event, while shame is a more pervasive feeling of being fundamentally flawed or unworthy. However, it is possible to overcome these emotions and find healing and self-acceptance. Understanding guilt and shame after trauma. Guilt and shame often stem from the way individuals interpret their role in the traumatic event. Dr. Brené Brown, a research professor and expert on vulnerability and shame, explains that shame is the intensely painful feeling or experience of believing that we are flawed and therefore unworthy of love and belonging. For trauma survivors, this can manifest as a belief that they are somehow responsible for the trauma or that they should have done something differently to prevent it. Guilt, on the other hand, is more specific and is often linked to particular actions or decisions made during the traumatic event. Survivors may feel guilty for surviving when others did not, for actions they took in self-defense, or for perceived failures to act. Both guilt and shame can be incredibly damaging, leading to a cycle of self-criticism, depression, and withdrawal from others. Understanding that these emotions are common responses to trauma is the first step in addressing them. Strategies for overcoming guilt and shame. Overcoming guilt and shame involves challenging the beliefs that underlie these emotions and developing a more compassionate view of oneself. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, is highly effective in helping individuals identify and reframe the thoughts that contribute to guilt and shame. Dr. Kristin Neff, a leading researcher on self-compassion, emphasizes that self-compassion involves treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a good friend. Practicing self-compassion can help break the cycle of self-blame and promote healing. It's also important to recognize that guilt and shame are often based on distorted perceptions of responsibility. Trauma-focused therapies can help individuals explore the context of the traumatic event and understand that the responsibility for the trauma does not lie with them. By working through these issues in therapy, survivors can begin to let go of the guilt and shame that has been weighing them down. Practical tips for building self-compassion. In addition to therapy, there are several practical strategies that can help in building self-compassion and overcoming guilt and shame. Journaling can be a powerful tool for exploring and challenging the thoughts and beliefs that contribute to these emotions. Writing letters of forgiveness to oneself, even if they are never sent, can also help in releasing feelings of guilt and shame. Engaging in activities that promote self-care and self-acceptance, such as mindfulness meditation, creative expression, or spending time in nature, can also help in building a more positive relationship with oneself. Finding freedom from guilt and shame. While guilt and shame are common responses to trauma, they do not have to define your life. By challenging the beliefs that underlie these emotions, seeking therapy, and practicing self-compassion, you can begin to free yourself from the burden of guilt and shame. As Dr. Brown reminds us, shame corrodes the very part of us that believes we are capable of change. By taking steps to overcome guilt and shame, you are choosing to believe in your own worth and capability for healing, allowing yourself to move forward with strength and resilience.